How is it going guys? We're back again another day, another W, another video, another blah, blah, blah. Today, we are finding how to find these Hard Rock Dom Corleo samples. You guys already know this whole subgenre is like sample melodies, glitchiness with the, the weird bass lines and you know. Today, I'm bringing you guys a video on how to find these samples. So there's many ways you can find these samples and I have a few different examples for us to go through. Now, we're just gonna go ahead and start off with this beat, which is probably the easiest way to create these kind of beats, is finding loops. Sounds really easy. I covered this in the last video, but literally, you can go to YouTube and look up Dom Corleo Loop Kit, or Hard Rock Loop Kit, and find these loops, and you won't exactly be using their loops. You can use those and chop it up. It's so easy. Look at this. I got this loop from a friend. This is what it sounds like. such a weird loop right i went ahead took the sample i put some effects on it whatever blah blah blah. open up a fruity love filter find some weird thing in there sound goodizer so you can make it louder an eq to take out low end and a little bit of high end another thing you can add is effector you can also add a uh, fruity panomatic that'll make it go left to right automatically fruity phaser Fla phaser and flanger are really good chorus even things bubbles this uh is like i don't know like ten dollars Shaperbox 3 has a demo that you can use. So there's really so many things you can do with just like random little samples that you find or loops, whatever. I'm just going to play this and let you guys hear it. So for our next beat, we got the same kind of thing, but I just want to give you guys another example. Make producer friends, ask them for loops, whatever. A lot of people will send you loops for free. This is my friend Vaughn. You guys check him out. That's his Instagram tag. Uh, he made this loop, and I was like, yo, this is actually really hard. So I took the original loop and let it play, and then I chopped it up right here, and then put some effects on it. You can find loops from Looperman. You look up Ambient. Uh, tempo you could do like 130 to 155 and you just click find loops and it'll bring you some ambient loops around that tempo and you take these you just create an account you click download drag it into fl and then ch start chopping up like it's so easy like all this stuff is free you don't got to pay for nothing um just credit you know people that you work with or whatever so this is the loop that vaughn made and then i chopped it up around here and then put some drums on it this is what it sounds like <laughs> Another way you can do it, as I just mentioned, is Looperman. Find samples from Looperman. You, you can find samples from old bands. You can go to Google and just type in 2000s punk rock bands, and it'll just give you a bunch of lists. Just go through, listen to music. A lot of times, finding samples is as easy as just listening, and a lot of people don't have the patience to just listen. You gotta actually listen, spend some time, you know, listening to old bands. Like I said, free loop kits. Be creative. Find OSTs, like soundtracks from old video games you can use movies clearing the sample will be a little bit tough but or you can even create your own and a lot of times i've shown you guys you know create a cool little melody use like some synths add a lead some bells whatever consolidate it make it a blur and then chop it up in fruity, fruity slicer there's so much you can you guys can do it's not exactly about finding like these really obscure samples it's really just you know knowing how to create these and that's what i'm trying to show you guys right now so we found this uh sample from Looperman. This was in G minor. Looperman will tell you what key that sample is in. Uh, just to add on to the melody, this is what we played in Serum. And it just repeats that. This is Money Overall synth from my kit. Uh, I haven't released it yet, but I will be soon. Span 2. This is a little poly synth. This is what it sounds like.
that's all we did for the melody and then we also put it in a fruity slicer like i mentioned earlier fruity slicer is really really good for doing these kind of sounds that you guys want uh raise your attack before you do any chopping so you put a sample in here right raise your attack a little bit come to this little scissor button click that and click beat it'll cut your samples into beats instead of chopping it automatically it'll cut each section into a beat and this is the melody that we played so this is what it's gonna sound like and something like that takes about five to ten minutes to really master i'll be making another video for these kind of drums as well uh the whole kit that i like to use for this this swag drum kit comes with certain 808s that you can't really find elsewhere i will link this in the description so this is what this sounds like i'll just start it from right here That's it for this guys i just want to show you guys give you guys ideas of how to find samples like i said just find samples from really anything that contains music you like so much simpler than you guys think just find music and just sample it it's that simple i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what you guys think give me ideas of where you guys like to find your samples and let me know if this helped you out because i know a lot of you guys want to be able to make these kind of beats but don't know where to find the samples i appreciate you guys for everything i will see you guys in the next one i'm gonna let this play out as it finishes bye bye